Good morning and welcome to a, another video and uh, I'm quite far away from Lake Erie today. I'm uh, just over a four hour drive away. I'm on the top end of Lake Ontario. I'm in the beautiful town city of Kingston. And uh, I just had the most peculiar way of launching my sea doo I mean, look how high this is. So I had to walk in and push it off. Uh, this guy I'm with, who we all know, Mark, that one there, he actually lowered himself down. I think his torso is a bit longer than mine, so he could reach, but I was like, screw that. I walked over there and pushed it in and got wet feet instead. So anyway, we're here at Kingston. Um, we're here for a couple of days, a bit of an adventure. Uh, first of all, today we're heading to a place called Monkey Island. The water is flat as flat can be. Um, if you're watching this video in the future, uh, today is uh, the 13th, Friday the 13th, and it is very warm. It's going to be humidity in the mid 30s today. Uh, there's no breeze whatsoever, so the lake is very calm. So we're going to try and go as far as we can today uh, with it being so nice. So with that said, I'm just going to do a few things, check a few things over before I start the engines up, and then we'll get on out of here. Sunscreen, need the sunscreen. Sunscreen on, arms, legs, face, a whole lot. The only thing I'm missing is sunglasses. Got the sunglasses, then we're good to go. Oh, by the way, that's the old penitentiary, apparently. That's where all the bad guys would have gone. Right, all set for today's adventure. Never been here before, this is brand new to me. Uh, the furthest east I've been, for sure. Um, now, last weekend, I did a group run with a group of guys and a girl uh, from Niagara Falls to uh, Lake Erie. Oh, I just drank coffee on a little burpee. And I have to tell you, the water was over, probably about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Here, the water is a lot chillier. I can definitely tell you that. It is chilly. So, uh, yeah, hope I don't fall in. So anyway, the conditions are much better because on that video, uh, the river was running wild. It was rough, we were drenched, but it was a fantastic day. If you've not seen that video, check it out. Uh, Niagara Falls River, uh, running rough. It's, uh, I think I've called it, uh, what did I call it in the end? Uh, Grand Tour, I said the Grand Tour, Grand Island Tour, because we actually went around the Grand Island. So anyway, heading out, let's go and have a great day. So this is Portsmouth, they call it. Now Portsmouth to me in the UK is a massive naval base. I grew up near the Plymouth Naval Base. I say near, I said 20 miles away, so I grew up by the sea. Uh, but yeah, Portsmouth is this area of Kingston. Uh, it's very colonial. Uh, as you drive in, you notice it's little bits of it do look like Britain. Uh, a lot of terraced homes together, made out of stone. It's uh, very, very cool. Oh, nicely in the shot. That was very artistic. Oh, that's really cool. Mark Forrest, everybody. Mark Forrest, the legend. See Mark's new CD. Look at this. <laughs> it's all black on the other side. Main Duck Island. Main Duck Island. <laughs> he sounds like monkey. Today we're heading to a place called Monkey Island. It's a monkey island. <laughs> First of all, it's not called Monkey Island. There's a mistake. I think Mark might be watching Planet of the Apes or something recently, but it's actually what? Main Duck? Forgot again? Main Duck. It helps if you look at a map. Why, Mark, for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mine's not showing any of the name. I think Monkey Island does sound good. Very hazy out there, very. So it's gonna be a long ride. Now it turns out, now we've got the name right, Duck Island. It's a very remote island uh, situated at the uh, middle of Lake Ontario at the uh, far northeast end. Like I say, it's rather remote, it's about 20 miles uh, offshore. And it's a very historical island, it turns out to be as well. So uh, it's gonna be a great adventure out there. So uh, in Come and join us and enjoy the ride. So, because I don't know how far we're going today, we're going to start the day off in eco mode. It's quite the safest thing. Uh, I do have an extra 10 litres of fuel with me. Uh, Mark's got about 30 litres on him. He's got the extended uh, platform now with it being on a fish pro. So we should be able to cover quite a bit of distance. I wrote the mileage down off my uh, Garmin here, so we'll figure out how far we, we go today. So, uh, quarter to 11. 
11 we left, so let's see how long of a day we have. It's a little chilly in the air right now, it was very humid back on land, so hopefully it'll warm up shortly, otherwise I'm putting the top on. A lighthouse! I like a lighthouse, you know that. Uh, this is Nine Point, Nine Point Simcoe Island Lighthouse, or is it just Nine Point Island Lighthouse? Nine Point, I don't know. Something Nine Point anyway. So what I'm going to do is just go around the other side so it's not backlit. So I'll just go around Mark and I'll have a look at it from the other side. That way it'll look a much better. Nine Mile Point is the point I was missing. Nine Mile Point. Oh, someone's in that house over there. What a cool place to reside. So, Mark was just telling me, I always start off with so, so I get that from my wife. So, uh, Mark's just saying it's a 45 minute ride to where we're going. So, uh, um, I'll show you like one minute of footage as we go along, but 45 minutes will become one minute. So I'm ready. Yeah. Like this. Like this. All right, out in the middle of nowhere here. And this is Pigeon Island Light. Uh, it's not a lighthouse, there's no house. It's just a light on a pole with a frame around it. Uh, the warm people in the shallow water that are here. Yeah, it was very shallow very shortly. The fishing boat over there. You can smell the birds. Look at some big winged ones there. He's a big bird. All right, watch what I'm doing here, because there's some rocks. I don't want to do a you-know-what, so uh, move on out a little bit. And I'll be up with Mark around the other side. Yeah, I'm up there. 
So that's where we are on uh, Lake Ontario right now. And uh, this is the island. And I see a lighthouse. Oh, wow, look how this just juts out of the uh, lake here. How close can I get? I think I can get pretty close here. I think what we'll do is go on the other side. Uh, it's a bit backlit on this side, and uh, see if we can land and get on the island. An old abandoned house, sitting quite lonely here on the uh, island. Let's see how close I can get. Looks like it should be quite deep all the way up to it. Shame is back live. Beauty of a sea do. Get off whenever you want, have a walk around. Let's see if we can make it over here and have a look. Oh, there's a path. Let's have a little. Let's have a little wander. I noticed on the drone there's a, like some paths cut into all this so you can like drive around I guess. That's is cool. The beauty of a sea do. Oh, look at this, it's like a proper path. It's been asphalted down here. Yeah? Yeah, I'm over at the other side of the lighthouse. You can't get into it though. Watch out for the poison ivy. Oh, this is neat on the other side. Look at this. Oh. Not even any footprints here. I don't think anyone's been here for a long time. There's a tire there. <laughs> Looks like an old part of a dock just there. 
I guess when they were constructing this, they've had to add a, have an area where they can bring a lot of the stuff in. This is probably, ooh, I'm sinking. That might have been it right there. I'm not gonna go any further because I'll probably walk into some kind of poisonous stuff. <laughs> But that's the lighthouse. This one's fully protected and you can't get close to it, unlike uh, Long Point, where you can actually get right up to it. This one's different. Oh my god, the mosquitoes are bad. Oh. Anything? Nah. You want to walk to those houses? The British are not known for their capabilities of dealing with bugs. Now look there, that's more... <laughs> That's the, the reaction I was going for. They go right in your bloody ear though. It's the annoying thing. There must, there must, not, there must be a lot of space between the ears <laughs> for them to go into. <laughs> There's a lot of bugs here. A lot of bugs. He says they're not mosquitoes like gnats, but they sound like mosquitoes to me. So the uh, when I put the drone up, when you saw that house, we believe it's just down here. So we'll see if we can find it. A bug up your nose? I got a bug up my nose. I got me a mate. I got him in every orifices. Orifices? Except for the ones below my waist. Nose, mouth, ears. Oh my god, I'm getting bitten. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah. So I noticed when I was over the other side of the island there, there's like a dock that's been washed away. There's only a little corner of it left with tie up. So I imagine that's where they brought all the equipment in to do all this at one point. Like they did with uh, Point Abano Lighthouse. Now I just wanna let you know, this is one of the beautiful things about sea Doo exploring. This is something you cannot do in a car. <laughs> the only way you could get here is by sailboat, powerboat, rowing boat, take you a few days, or best way, personal watercraft. But wherever you go, just always respect the land uh, and so on, and make sure you're not trespassing. Oh, here's that house we just had the drone up over. This is gonna be cool. But like Mark was just pointing out, this is all concrete on the ground here. I would have said asphalt. It looks more like an asphalt to me. Oh, this is creepy. This is creepy as hell, man. Not bad. So this is a creepy house we were looking at on the drone. Just. A moment ago, all for eyes personnel only. It, yeah, it feels like a horror movie, doesn't it? <laughs> you don't fancy camping here? No, I would not. Hello, is anybody at home? Hello. Morning, dead things. Dead things? Like animals? All right, Mark's going back through the wooded area. I'm gonna take the uh, the lake side walk. But Kingston's way over there, a long, long way away. Okay. Goodbye, creepy house in my background. As we make our way back to our sea dews And carry on with our adventure for the day. There's a few things there I won't mind checking out. Oh, there's a wall built here. Landing area. 
I'd imagine the water levels were a lot higher at some point. And you want some blueberries? Very fresh. There'll be no uh, pesticides on them or anything. All right, my CD's around that corner somewhere if it hasn't floated away. At some point over the years, I guess they may have tied up boats along here because look what I just found sticking out of a bloody rock. Tie on to that. So long. I thought you got killed. I said I'm going to see this way by the lake. You thought I got killed. Oh, by the way, I got about I got about 20 bites on me. Yeah, well, me too. Oh, they're not biting ones. They're just gnats. They were like daytime mosquitoes. I mean, guys, a mistake for me. Look at say He's completely covered up. I'm sitting there on my side of the house. Oh, is it your house now? Yeah, well, the house. <laughs> I'm sitting there, and I'm like, okay, well, this is pretty cool, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, Jesus, what the f what's taking this guy so long? I thought you were just walking around the other way. <laughs> yeah. So then I start, I'm like, Nigel, nothing. I'm like, stop messing around, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I thought I said to you, I said, Are you going, because as you walk, talk about, I'm going to go back the lake, the lake way. Oh, well, that makes more sense to what happened. All right. Well, I, I, then I go around <laughs> to the other side. I'm like, Nigel, where are you, man? I'm like, this isn't funny. I'm like, could you imagine he actually got killed? It is a bloody creepy place, is, I tell you. We both decided we would never ever think of spending. The night. I don't think any money in the world will make me stay here for the night. No, don't think it would. It's too creepy. Main Duck Island is a Canadian island in the eastern part of Lake Ontario, situated next to the smaller Yorkshire Island. It was purchased by Parks Canada in 1977 and has been administered as part of the Thousand Islands National Park since 1988, even though it is not part of the Thousand Islands region. I noticed when I tried to find the island on Google Maps, it actually doesn't show up. The island does, but not the name, as you can see right here. There's nothing. It just stays blank. There's nothing about it whatsoever. However, if I switch to the marine app, uh, marine traffic app, it comes up. You know, just zoom right in, and right away, the island then comes under the Thousand Islands region. Uh, sorry, the, uh, the National Park, and there it is, Main Duck Island. The island itself has an area of 230 hectares, which is 570 acres. Early history, archaeological evidence suggests that the island was first used by nomadic Point Peninsula people as early as 450 BC and 450 AD. European settlers from Prince Edward County began to settle on Main Duck Island in the early 19th century and establishing a fishing station. A lighthouse was placed on Main Duck Island in the early 1800s. However, the tower above was built in 1914. Due to the harsh winter conditions on Lake Ontario, the lighthouse was made out of reinforced concrete. At one time, the lighthouse housed a Frenzel lens. The lens has now been replaced by modern equipment and is solar powered. One special event of note took place at the tower and that was a visit by Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. <music>
Any ideas what this could be? If you have an idea, put it in the comments below. And we'll see if we can figure out what it is. Some kind of machinery that got stuck here. It's time to now head around the island and what we're going to do is go around the south side, cut in between that and Yorkshire Island and then make land on the north side, probably the northeast side I guess. The good thing about traveling with someone else, you just feel safer, especially when you're navigating waters you've never been in. And especially on a day like today where it's beautiful, the scenery of the island and the crystal clear waters just made for a fantastic scenic journey. The water is absolutely stunning, crystal clear. I don't think I've ever seen Lake Ontario so clear in my whole life. This is. I got no internet out here to find out <coughs> what actually happened here. I see remains of an old building up here as well. Uh, looks like a little chimney stack. Uh, definitely uh, shipping markers down here as well. I'm not going to say ships came in, but I'm sure some kind of vessel would have come in here. It's only 13 feet though. St. Lawrence Islands, National Park of Canada, Maine Duck Island. What a nice little hidden gem here on Maine Duck Island. This is really cool. Is it a can crusher, I wonder? I'm gonna guess it is. Fire pit. Someone's left some bug spray. Someone took the sign down. <laughs> Very well kept. Where do they keep the lawnmower? Enlisted. Looks like some wildlife refuge. Lawnmower. Oh, it's the toilet. All right, found the poop poop. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but there's a loud boom and rumble going on. Could that be some? I guess because we're up close to Trenton, could that be uh, the Air Force? More old ruins. Can I feel like I'm in a, <coughs> a childhood memory right now? Just this little path walking down here reminded me of Anglesey in Wales when I was a kid. And you'll walk from the campsite and you'll walk down a little trail like this. And right in front of you with the uh, Benlec Bay. Flash right across my mind then. Then it doesn't look like it after that. It was just that little moment. <laughs> little childhood memory just popped back in my head. To see that I've been here, there we go. Main Duck Island. All right, just being told by the guy we met on this island, there's <laughs> only two people here with me in Mark. They've just taken off on their boat. So no one's on the island now. But anyway, he told us there's a shipwreck that's around the corner. And with the water being so cool today, we should be able to get a good view of it. So we're going to go over here with a little cliff, it's all a big cliff. You can see that, and then there should be a shipwreck just around there or near the area. 
and uh, yeah, this island has been uh, quite the adventure, I would say. It's hard to believe we're in the middle of September and it actually feels like, I don't know, mid, uh, early, mid-July, I should say. I mean, the temperature's getting close to 30. It's lovely. All right, we found the shipwreck, uh, but unfortunately after filming this and got home and looking at the internet and stuff like that, I can't find the name of the shipwreck or if it's actually listed anywhere, but I did find a couple of websites that did detail something and I'll just read one of these things. This is um, from shotlinediving.com. Uh, the wreck near Graveyard Point is described as the backbone and ribs of an old wooden ship, uh, suggesting it was a vessel of considerable age, possibly from the early 19th century. The reference to it being an 1812er implies that it may have been lost during or after the War of 1812, either due to a battle damage or being intentionally beached. Duck Island has long been a site of interest due to its strategic location and the historical events associated with the War of 1812. Uh, the specific area known as Graveyard Point is named for the graves that were reportedly present there, uh, which may have been the final resting places of soldiers or sailors who died during some of the late skirmishes. Uh, an excerpt from uh, the Toronto Telegram in December the 23, 1933, provides a vivid account of the site mentioning that buttons and bones were found there, possibly connected to those buried after the naval battle. Uh, the only recorded engagement that might correspond to this site was on September the 11th, 1813, when Sir James Lucas Yeo, uh, commanding a British squadron, was engaged in a running battle with the Com Commodore Isaac Ashanti of the United States Navy. Uh, Yo was reportedly sought refuge among the ducks to escape Chauncey, uh, potentially burying the dead on Main Duck Island. This is really turning out to be the great adventure. I mean, I thought you only see this in Northern Ontario, like when you go up to uh, the Muskokas, places like that. But oh no, you see it at the top end of uh, Lake Ontario too. stumbled across another lighthouse is it a lighthouse i guess it is it looks like one uh this is east charity shoal here on uh, lake ontario and uh yeah this thing needs a good power wash don't you think let's see how close i can get to it still 15 feet of water Wow, it's not being looked after very well, has it? Look at that. Chains have broken off. Oh my God. Whoa. Whoa. That is nasty. I walked right into that one. Woo. So what we're doing now, we're going around Wolf Island. So we're heading uh, uh, northeast. Something just caught my eye. A real proper lighthouse. This is on the American side, so we can't land or anything. But we can get a good look at it anyway from the water. This is Tibbetts Point Lighthouse. It's located at Cape Vincent in New York. 
and it was constructed in 1954. And it marks the entrance into the St. Lawrence River uh, from Lake Ontario and it utilizes the only classical uh, Franzel lens still in operation on the Great Lakes today. Master's working on the drum shot for the end of his video. Beautiful sunlight right now as well, it's very artistic. another adventure uh, thanks to Mark for uh, keeping me company out here today it's always safe on a big travel with two of us uh, we covered a lot of miles today uh, looks like close to 80 miles what's that uh, ooh, I forgot <laughs> 130 kilometers thereabouts anyway it was a great experience I enjoyed it it's uh, day one in Kingston uh, got another day here tomorrow and uh, we'll do some more adventures So until the next time, the next video, uh, stay safe, look after one another, see you all very, very soon. <laughs>